Hello Capricorns, welcome to your love reading for January 2023. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just email DM me or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorns for love for January 2023. What do you see? What do they need to know? To reach your higher ground, we come closer to universe and closer to divine. Can you please show me the energies that Capricorn passed out of prior to January of 2023, we have the strength card in the upright. That's good. Uh, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking and feeling. And that spread will have something you do not know about them. In addition to if they're seeing or they're interested in somebody else. Eight of Swords in the upright are the love energies for January 2023. In my playlist, your 2023 sun moon predictions. I have completed all 144 of them. Oh, check those out. See if they rang true for you. We end on the King of Cups in the upright as we move out of the uh, out of January into February. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any links below in support of my channel. Always appreciated. Let's get to your reading. So, Strength card in the upright is the card of Leo. And I'm getting the sense that prior to January, you're really kind of working on yourself to make yourself a stronger person. I mean, hello, it is the strength card, right? I feel as though you were picking apart um, things about you that caused you to make decisions in love previously uh, that might have been based on insecurities or based on codependency or based on any kind of weakness in that regard. Maybe you were doubting yourself and you attached yourself to somebody because of that. So I, see, I feel like you're really evaluating and you're really addressing the weaker points Points that you have um, in regards to you um, when it comes to love. Um, I, I mean, that's great that you're doing the work. It's great that you were trying to, you know, kind of do that. And I feel like you really did do that. I feel as though, um, you know, your inner strength became great. You felt like you could take on anybody um, prior to January. Um, and I feel as though uh, these weaknesses that you're working on were forged because of a previous relationship. So, and, and I think one that was a, a very significant one in your life, um, one that was probably, um, it could have been one of the most significant in your life. So here you are saying to yourself, I'm stronger than this. I can be stronger than this. I need to figure out how to become strong again and move forward. Um, the difficulty is in her, um, January, the Eight of Swords in the Upright, I'm seeing that um, you're still in your own prison in a sense. And I, I think it goes back to this person. I think that uh, there was some sort of trigger in January, or there's some sort of triggers in January that kind of take you back to that place, or um, something that kind of makes you feel restricted. And I feel a frustration that kind of goes along with this. I feel as though you're saying to yourself, oh, why can't I move forward differently? Why do I continue to, um, you know, why do I continue to kind of uh, think like this or act like this or do this stuff that I'm kind of doing? Um, it seems like I'm forever stuck and I just do the same patterns and I just go after the same people and I just, um, can't seem to rid myself of this, uh, you know, love, um, style of love that I have that's kind of hardwired. So you do, you kind of feel like you're in prison in some regard and you don't want to be like that anymore. Um, as you move out of January into February, I see somebody coming in. Um, for some reason, I don't feel like it's going to readily be apparent to you that this is a love connection. Um, a mature person, uh, soft-spoken, very kind, very understanding. They might start off as a friend, uh, a mentor, um, a colleague, a boss, somebody in that regard. And I feel as though um, the connection is going to come later. I feel as though you're going to forge something at first. And I feel like this person um, is actually going to help you on your journey to help you become stronger. And then I feel that at a later time, it's actually going to become a romantic connection. And I do feel like it's going to be a very good one. Um, and the reason why I feel it's at a later time is because I don't feel like you're complete. I feel as though the pie is still cooking. And I feel as though um, 
this person, when you connect with them, it, it's kind of like they're helping to finish off the pie in the oven or something to that regard. That's the only analogy I can kind of come up with. But let me see what the clarifiers say. Um, why is the strength card here on the upright for Capricorns prior to January? Who's this person? What's this energy? So you did do a lot of healing. So I'm right. It was a previous relationship um, and it was a significant one. And when that kind of fell apart, uh, you did, you had a hard time at first kind of moving on. Um, I do see that you feel that this person was your soulmate, um, but that didn't end up happening. Uh, star card is the card of, card of Aquarius, by the way, but I see you went through a um, depression, a deep sadness of some sort, um, just being disengaged from everything, not wanting to even try, um, you know, everything was very lackluster to you. Uh, you feel like it was a whole bunch of challenges and there's nothing you could do about them. So I, I think that that was part of this. And I also feel as though um, you, you felt really like an island all by yourself. Um, I see you uh, holding on to um, things to feel um, more secure, uh, more stable, um, things in that regard. Some of you might actually have abandonment issues. So, you know, when somebody leaves or when you break up, um, you have a tendency to kind of, uh, you had a tendency to kind of hold on to what you could um, so you could feel better about a situation or about yourself. So I see you, again, going over this stuff and saying, I don't like how that made me feel. Um, I'm going to heal from what happened. I'm going to get out of this sadness. I'm going to get out of this depression and I'm not going to, and I'm going to learn not to kind of reach for that security blanket every time, you know, the world comes crashing down around me or something in that regard. Um, and I see you were building yourself up and you were doing really, really well. And this is what kind of has me curious here. Why is the state of stories here in the upright for Capricorns for January? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay. We have the five of wands in reverse. We have the ace of wands in the upright. And we have the uh, tower card in the reversed. All right, so I mean, despite the efforts you made, I feel as though you keep kind of going back to this significant relationship. Um, I think part of you uh, is having a hard time accepting that. I, I feel as though, here's here's a good um, example, and it's a saying I just recently heard. I feel like you have moved forward, but I don't feel like you've moved on. And I feel like there's a part of you, so this is what's call, causing the prison. And I feel like part of you is kind of wondering, well, maybe things could have worked out. Maybe we could have restored harmony in this situation. Maybe if we had just talked it out, um, you know, having those kind of conf uh, conversations. Maybe if we had focused on what was wrong and we actually, you know, set about doing something about it. So I do see those internal conversations kind of happening. Um, I see you wanting a new beginning with this person because uh, the connection you had with this person was like no other. So it's like I said, it was a very significant uh, relationship that you had, very passionate. The two of you had a very similar chemistry. Uh, you were very excited to see this person. Um, it, the two of you were very excited about uh, moving forward and kind of doing things, you know, um, creating a new life together, thing, things like that. So I feel as you uh, reflecting on that is actually what kind of keeps you in this um in this situation but the good part is with the tower card in reverse you do have realizations why it fell apart it's it's a weird feeling i'm getting i'm getting it as though uh your head totally understands the logic of it and why everything went down the way that it did but your heart has a hard time kind of catching up to your head so i feel like your heart is still lingering um you know wishing for the best where well, your head's kind of like okay let's just move on already um and that's kind of the sense i'm getting but from a pragmatic standpoint I feel like you absolutely understand why the two of you are no longer together um, why the foundation was very rocky uh, what could have happened if it continued and how disastrous it could have been so you are factoring that in to um, to uh, becoming a better version of yourself as best you can but you still kind of feel like you're locked down um, why is the king of cups here in the upright as you move out of January who's this person what's this energy ace of pentacles not right again this person i feel like you're 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 connecting with them in a practical scenario so either uh you meet them through work you meet them through an organization um 
I, I feel like it's, like I said, you meet them, I don't know, at a coffee shop or something like that. Um, maybe they're behind the counter. Um, <clears throat> I see the two of pentacles in the upright kind of saying, hey, I'm too busy right now. I don't have time for um, a love connection. I don't have time for personal life. I don't have time to date. So I feel like uh, you're not um, considering this person as a possibility um, after January because of this. Um, you're kind of saying, oh, I have to do this. I have to do that. I don't have time. But what I think what's really happening here is you're kind of making yourself busy or making uh, these excuses or reasons why you can not kind of pursue something um, because, again, the relationship that you had, the honeymoon that didn't happen, um, that significant relationship that just absolutely, you know, blew up. Um, it was your fairy tale and the fairy tale that didn't work out. And I think you're really kind of hesitant to... Um, you know, fold into something else because um, you don't care to kind of go through that again. You don't want to um, feel that hurt again and that disappointment. And it really was a long journey that you went through to get to the other side of it. So I can totally understand how you don't want to kind of go through it again. Um, but, you know, we can't really judge um, somebody that comes to us in our future based on our past because those are two different people. So keep that in mind. Um, that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a, a personal pre recorder or live reading, just email, DM me or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. In that spread, I'll have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else. In my playlist, my 2023 or your 2023 sun moon predictions are completed. All 144 are in there. 2022s are still in there if you want to see if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my channels um, or my efforts. <laughs> Otherwise, Capricorns, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.